Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. You know, we've all been there. We've had that certain event we didn't really want to go to. You know the ones where it's some sort of family obligation or something required through work or even job related. Maybe your wife or friend dragged you along. And sure, we uh, mumbled or grumbled. We stopped short of whining, well, <laughs> some of us. And then somehow, despite our worst expectations, things not only worked out, it actually goes great. You know, there's no rhyme or reason. All you know is you're glad you went, and it turned out better than you thought. Happy endings to such events happen more often than not. And on the way home, if you're like me, you laugh and say, wow, I'm really glad I went. You never know till you go. Okay, put that rod up and take this one. All right, now put that same mindset to fishing. Sometimes we may lack motivation to go because we know in advance, maybe the weather or the water conditions are not too good. Or the report that just came in, well, the fish aren't biting. Then we go back into that same routine we followed for attending that social or business appointment that we dreaded. We start again, we start mumbling and we start grumbling. We stop short of whining and guess what? We start to look for reasons not to go. Well, we got low pressure. We're gonna have an east wind. The water's low, the water's rising, the water's gotten muddy. I mean, we just go on and on with all these excuses because we really don't wanna go. Furthermore, if we do go, we're certain before making that first cast that the day is gonna be bad. We're just in a negative mood. That's the way we do it. But a fishing trip can be very much, don't wanna forget that, can be very much like those events you went to expecting the worst, but it ended up pretty doggone good. You actually enjoyed yourself. Sayings like, you can't catch them in a recliner, and you don't know until you go. You know, they're actually very true. Effort is everything. Sometimes you have to dig deeper for the enthusiasm, especially when expectations are low. I found on such days, even if you can ever get going and catch that first fish, things always begin turning around. Like folks that work out or train. Now here's where you can really discover that having a good partner to push you can also help you get there. We all know the number one rule is you gotta go. And speaking of going, tell you what, let me get this big boat in the water, get the big M fired up, and let's go out here and see how the day turns out. Okay? Okay, come on. You know another thing that can turn your mixed emotions and get you motivated in a new direction is a bite. You know, it's true, the words, I just got a bite, can turn it all around. Motivation is a big word, and it can quickly renew your confidence and efforts in a mighty big way. You get that strike, and a sudden spark fans into a flame of confidence in your ability to make it happen. Other signs and your surrounds can also do this. For example, when you see a bass bust a shad on the surface, and then, well then, you catch a fish. Talk about an increased desire to be right here. And nothing sinks down as fast as a fish on the line. And before you know it, all uncertainty is gone. It may fade because our brain goes into overdrive as far as what's needed to put together all the pieces of a successful trip. Now, a busy brain starts thinking, boat position, location of lure, presentation, where should I cast next? Yep, you've been caught 
by the adventure that's called bass fishing, hook, line, and sinker. Are you really into it now? Oof. That little man. He wanted it too. Come up here. There we go. Bill Dance Outdoors. Sponsored by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Today's conditions log is brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. Come experience the kind of beauty that can only be made in Tennessee. Go online today for your free Tennessee vacation guide. That's a much better one. No, he's not. I thought he was. Come up here, old boy. Not a two pounder. Pretty fish, so nice. Let's go home. Woo! I'm glad I came. <laughs> Without question, confidence drives fishermen forward. I have always said, confidence in our ability to catch bass is the greatest lure in our tackle box. You must have complete confidence in what you're doing and the lure you're using. It's a mental attitude to be sure. Simply put, a big dose of confidence can make all the difference in whether or not you catch bass. Unfortunately, the majority of bass anglers pay only lip service to this vital ingredient. Yet, if you were given the opportunity to pick their brain in detail, you'd quickly realize confidence is always just under the surface and it plays a key role in their success in nearly everyone's approach to this sport. The fact that many may fish differently, for example, one favors a spinnerbait, while another fish's plastic worm does not distract from their confidence of each individual. If anything, it only adds to it, and especially when it comes to fishing. Each one favors a specific technique. Here's a little fish. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish right there. Nice one. Look at the size of that. Come on back. All right, come up here. I can't get over and get you, buddy. I'm trying. Oh yeah, you're pretty one. You are pretty. Yes, you are. Fat. Okay. I've got line everywhere. All hung up in your pins. 
Well, that jig just about fell out. Pretty one. Bye bye. I am. They're running, it seems like they're running from 12 to about 14. Of course, this river bug is, is also helping to create a slow fall. Water temperature is running about 57 degrees. Today's show is brought to you by Quantum Rods and Reels. Quantum, performance tuned. Pure Marine Odor Eliminator eliminates foul fish odors from gear, compartments, and empty live wells. And Tracker Boats, fish the finest. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Gamakatsu. Because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Today's show is sponsored by Monster Marine Lithium. Lighter, stronger, longer. Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. We have an action for you. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Speaking of confidence, it also extends to the lure that you use. Now to fish a lure efficiently and effectively, you must first believe in your mind that the lure is the best one for the job. Obviously, if you don't have faith in your lure, your casts are going to be less than accurate and your retrieves will be mechanical. When you lack faith, your focus on the task at hand will not be atop the game either. Chances are you'll be changing lures quickly, sometimes maybe too quickly. Now, this lure that I'm using today, well, I've got a tremendous amount of confidence in it. And let me tell you a little bit about it. You know, we talk about invertebrates. We talked about that before, that live in our lakes. Now this little guy right here is called a river bug. It's made by Bass Pro Shops. Now what does it look like? It looks like a water bug, but they call it a river bug. But it's a, there's water bugs in the lake, and bass eat them. But this guy right here kind of looks like a water bug, but it's a heck of a little bait. Now, it looks like a little invertebrate. And we talk about all lakes, rivers have invertebrates in them. I have fished this particular bait in some of the worst conditions in 40 degree weather and done exceptionally well with it. I've used it on the lead head in 39, 40 degree air temperatures. I've fished it in 39, 40 degree water temperatures and done exceptionally well with it. I mean, when the temperature was cold, just dead of winter time and caught fish on it like this. Look, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Watch this video clip. Ooh-wee. Boom. <laughs> Let me get your hand that cold water. Whoa. Pretty fish. that. Nice, nice, nice. So these vertebrates move around, I assume, in the wintertime. Our fish can remember what they look like in extremely cold weather. And I've done exceptionally well pitching and flipping them in grassy areas in 70 degree water. Watch this video.
Get, uh, get out of the room. Don't get back in there. Don't get back in there. Don't get back in there. Determined to get in. Look at that big rascal. Wee! Yes, you are. Pretty one, isn't it? Mm. Well, you ready to go? Ready to say toodaloo? I'm gonna say toodaloo. Toodaloo. Bass can relate to these type baits. In cold water, like today, water temperature is about 58 degrees. It's fall. They're eating it. And, as you saw a minute ago, 39, 40 degree, dead of winter. You're seeing how they're hitting it today in 58 degree water. And I just showed you another clip, catching good sized fish on this little guy in 70 degree water, 74 degree water. So bass relate to it, uh, and they relate to it as an invertebrate that's found in many of our lakes and rivers all over the country. So. Anytime you want to try something different that'll catch fish, give a river bug a shot. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week, brought to you by Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light salt water, we have the action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Spider rigging continues to become an increasingly popular way to fish, and Millennium has anglers covered with the R100 rod holders. Made of anodized aluminum, the crossbar will easily accommodate four rod heads. Rod adjustments are easy, smooth, and secure with no tools needed. It's adjustable from 12 to 20 inches, and crossbars and rod holders allow for 360 degree rotation. In addition to spider rigging, these rod holders are great for long lining and pulling crankbaits. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And by Garmin Force Trolling Motors, fish with force. Closed caption provided by PowerPole, the original shallow water anchor. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, Shark Plotter Sonar Combos, with their advanced sonar technology, like Panoptic's Live Scope All Seeing Sonar. You'll spend less time finding your fish. Hey, I got a great product I want to show and tell you about. It's one of EGO's Cryptek Genesis Landing Net series. This S1 model is truly unique and attractive with a removable handle for easy storage and interchangeable accessories for several different size removable handles and net styles and sizes. And you know something? It floats. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. There's one. There's one up there. Nice one. Slow down. Come on back up here. All right, there we go. Oh, it took you a while to bite. There you go. That old baby. Hello. Pretty fish. Yes, you are. Okay. You know, to be successful at bass fishing, you got to work at it. They're 
no miracle methods, there's no secret lures, there's no shortcuts to the thrill of a strike. And that's why your attitude must always be positive. You gotta believe that the next move you make is gonna be the right one. You just gotta believe that. It's not easy to have confidence all the time because you can't really fool yourself into thinking that you have it. Instead, it's vital that you work at developing a mental attitude that pushes you toward success. Never underestimate the importance of this, because that's very, very important. The ultimate goal is to never get discouraged and to continue to believe that your approach is the best one. Like I said earlier, it's so important to stay motivated. If you fail at a given location, review the procedure you used and the places you recently fished. Go through the mental exercises that pose questions, answers, and solutions. Profit from your experiences and tell yourself, from this point on, things are gonna be different. Above all, never lose sight of the fact that the reason you love bass fishing, because it's a challenge. And believe it or not, the fact that bass are so unpredictable is a blessing. It keeps the sport always challenging, interesting, and fun. There are gonna be times you can't get your lure in the water fast enough, and other times you can't find a strike regardless of what you do. If bass fishing were routine, you'd soon tire of it. We'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.